Hi boys and girls! Today we are going to continue with our Makerspace alphabet and our next letter is H. H stands for hands-on. Hands-on is anything that you can do with your hands. You're working, you're building, you're doing something in front of you. So we're going to start off today by reading a book that I love. This book is called The Blocks Come Out at Night, and it is written by Javier. It's illustrated by Kenan Thompson. Do you remember what the author does? Do you remember what the illustrator does? Let's see what happens in this book. Saturday morning, eight-year-old Samantha woke up to a big surprise. When did you build that? She asked her little brother. What? Roger mumbled, still half asleep. Roger opened his eyes. He saw a rainbow of colors standing in the middle of the room. It looked like a stretched out pyramid. Slow down, Samantha shouted. What is it? Roger asked. I think it's the Eiffel Tower. Samantha answered. She looked towards her dresser, then back at the tower of blocks. But where did it come from? Do you know what that looks like? Do you know where the Eiffel Tower is? Hello, down here. Across the room, a bright red block jumped up and down, waved its arms. Samantha's heart was racing. Uh. Who are you? My name is Lloyd. Wow, you can talk, Roger said. Of course, I was at the top of my class at Block University. Samantha tried to put on a brave face. What are you doing here? Seriously, Lloyd blurted out. He thought about all the good times he spent with the children. Can you think of all the times you built with your blocks? Do you even remember the last time we, you played with us? They didn't. It had been a whole year. For the past 365 days, Lloyd and the other blocks thought of ways to get the kids' attention. There's their list of ideas. They didn't know what model they would build or where they would find it, but Lloyd had a plan. The night before your mom's last business trip, a couple of us kind of, might have, sort of sneaked into her suitcases and we boarded the plane to France. There they go. All the way to France. Then we kind of, might have, sort of peeked out the hotel to explore Paris. There we found the perfect model to build you an Eiffel Tower. There are all the beautiful places in Paris. The Arc de Triomphe, the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, the Notre Dame. Roger elbowed past his sister to get a better view. Whoa, he screamed, tripping and falling toward Lloyd. Lloyd hoped, hopped out of the way. Luckily, he had been a champion long jumper at Block University. Samantha grasped when Roger's right arm scraped the top of the Eiffel Tower. Don't worry guys, my friend and I built that tower and we're experts. Uh-oh, it fell. Lloyd was horrified and started walking away. He now feared Samantha and Roger would never play with him again or his friends. Wait, Roger yelled, can you help us build it again? Blocks, you heard the boy, Lloyd said, beaming. He began stomping and clamping. On command, an army of blocks marched out of the toy box. There they all are. This is my friend Sonia, Lloyd said, pointing at the purple block leading the way. Lloyd met Sonia at Block University. Now she is the best building block engineer in France. She traveled back from Paris to help her friend. Bonjour, Sonia said. The children watched as Sonia shouted instructions and blocks scampered across the room. 
Look how tall it is. The real Eiffel Tower. Well, in minutes, in Eiffel, the Eiffel Tower was rebuilt. Lloyd easily leaped to the top of the tower, explaining that he, the real tower stood over 1,000 feet tall. It's taller than 60 giraffes, he said. Sonia quickly reminded Lloyd that the giant's tower's height changes from the hottest days of the summer to the coldest days of winter. No way, Roger cried. How can it grow and shrink if it's not alive? Thermal expansion, Sonia explained. That sounds complicated, but it just means that some objects change size when the temperature changes. It happens to bridges and railroad tracks too. Your Lloyd asked Roger to hold out his hand. You are not scary at all, Samantha said. You're actually cute and a little bit of a show off. Lloyd blushed. You're really light too, Roger added. That's a wonderful observation, Sonia said. We're made of plastic, which weighs very little. The real Alfred Tower is made of iron and weighs more than 1,000 elephants. That's heavy. Confused, Samantha asked how such an enormous tower didn't collapse or get blown over by the wind. Easy, Loy said. In Paris, Sonia taught us all about triangles. Triangles? Do you know what shape a triangle is and what it looks like? We, Sonia replied, triangles are the superheroes of shapes. They are strong, and when they are open in the middle, the wind can pass through them. Roger and Samantha thought about all the places they've seen with triangles. Your house might have a triangle-looking roof, a pyramid, even bridges have triangles. They wondered if the fort they built in the backyard would still be standing if they used triangles. Knock, knock, Samantha, Roger, adults, adults. A wave of blocks swept across the floor. The Eiffel Tower vanished. Au revoir, Sonia said just before the door opened. Pancakes will be ready in a minute. When the coast was clear, the children walked over to the box. Samantha opened the lid and whispered, Lloyd, Sonia. Our mom is going to India next month. The blocks looked at each other and smiled. The end. So that was such a fun book. It's one of my favorites. I love how it has to do with Paris and the Eiffel Tower and building. So for today's challenge, I want you to see if you can build your own Eiffel Tower. So I'm gonna show you again what the real Eiffel Tower looks like, and you can try to see if you can build your own version of it with blocks, it could be um, brick blocks like this, with Legos, maybe you can build with um, wooden blocks, plastic, anything you have at home. If you don't have blocks, you can even use recyclable materials. And let's see what you can build.